Assalamu alaikum, this is Naim Raza and welcome to another exciting episode of Street Challenge. Where are we today? Well, let me give you some clues. First and foremost, we're in North London, an area that consists of four wards in the London borough of Hackney. On top of that, it is also one of the most multicultural communities within London. And finally, this one should really give it away. It's home to nearly 30,000 Hasidic Jews, the largest community within Europe itself. We are indeed in Stamford Hill. Let the challenge begin. What's your name? George Luke. Lucas Warwa. Wendy. Joan Eckerman. Steve. Shilfer. Dermot McWard. My name is Nick Katz. Romel. My name is Supreme G. Mike. John Epper. My name is Shoki. Where are you from? I was born in Cambridge. I'm originally from Glasgow. Stamford Hill. I'm from Hackney. Cyprus. Brazil. From North London. Originally from Israel. I was born in France. Uh, New Zealand. South Africa. And uh, what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a current student at the moment. I go to school. Rap artist. I work in a bakery. I'm retired. Industrial designer. I'm a hairdresser. I'm an economist. Uh, I run community singing workshops. Muslims do not regard Abraham, Jesus, Joseph, Ismail and Aaron as a prophet. Is that true or false? No, it's false. They regard Abraham as a prophet. I've got no idea. Ismail as well. Abraham, I understand that they do believe in Abraham. And that's it. Ismail is uh, from what that is the son of Abraham. False. They do regard him as prophets. Yeah, I think they do. You do? I don't know. I'm not totally, I'm not sure, but I I think, I, I thought that all of them were reg regarded as wise men, um, but that there's only one prophet. No, Jesus is yes. the prophet, yes. You said they don't. Yeah. yeah. It's false. I know they do. They do. Of course they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's false. False. <laughs> they do regard them as prophets, I think. I, I don't know, I don't really have much knowledge on this one. Abraham, I think. What about Jesus? No. Yes, no. Messiah, right? no. I know that um, they believe that Jesus is a prophet. I don't think Jesus, I'm not sure. You do believe Jesus is a prophet, but not your prophet, or something like that. Uh, Joseph? Joseph, who is Joseph? We're talking about Yusuf. the son, Yusuf, the son of Jacob. Yes. No. Uh, I believe so, yes. Aaron? No. I believe so, yes. yes. I'm not too sure about that. Sure. No. So, if you put all the names together, then I think it's true. Well, how do you know that? That's what I... I know from reading and from, I don't know. Uh, just the wee bits I've, I've heard about. Yeah. My daughter in Ireland has explained a lot to me. I think she has said that. Because has, has your daughter become Muslim? You? Yes, yes, yeah. she's been for years. It is the right answer. They are all prophets. It is the right answer. Well done. Well, they are actually regarded as prophets. That's cool. Well, we actually believe all of them are prophets. OK. All right. But not, not Islamic. Uh, yeah. Yeah? All of them. All right. Abraham, Jesus, Joseph, Ismail, Aaron, they all believe they are prophets in Islam. Maybe. Well, they do. They believe in all of these prophets. Yeah. I'll do for me. Well done. Question one out of one. Yes. In Islam, paradise lies under whose feet? Is it the feet of the father, the mother, the spouse, or the imam? No, none of them. The mother. Absolutely no idea. Imam, I suppose. Mother. Oh, I do, I'm not sure. I'll say their man, but I'm not sure about I'm sure. On the God's feet, no? Um, I have no clue about that, but to say father. The imam? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. No idea. God? The father? I think. I don't know. I have, I have no clue. Imam? Either the imam or the, or the father. Why do you say imam? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Why do you say mother? Because she's the giver of life? Because you might be expecting people to answer father. Why do you say that? Father is up in heaven. But under whose feet does it lie? God Almighty. Oh. Because I think father is something like, 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry. You're talking about... For me, the father is the father of all the world. Because I think something um, that's, a, that's a big responsibility as, as that should be within a spiritual person or, or within a man, the head of the family. It is the right answer. We believe it lies under the feet of the mother. Mother. Okay. Ah. Okay. I, I don't know. Mother three times over the father. The mother is it? Yeah. yeah no. Oh, okay. Well, that's something I learned today, yeah. It's actually the mother. I knew it was the mother. I knew it. Oh, the mother. See, you learn something new every day. I never knew that. No, I know. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and said, O oh, Messenger of God, who among the people is the most worthy of my good companionship? The Prophet said, Your mother. The man said, Then who? The Prophet said, then your mother. The man further asked, then who? The Prophet said, then your mother. The man asked again, then who? The Prophet said, then your father. Which place in the world is considered to be holy by Jews, Christians and Muslims? Is it Mecca, Jerusalem, Cairo or the Vatican City? Jerusalem. 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 Car um, uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's an easy one. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, right? It's either two places I can think of, like, definitely. It's either Mecca or Jerusalem, maybe. Uh, Mecca. Vatican? The Vatican? I don't see the Vatican because... No, it'd be Jerusalem. It must be Jerusalem, of course. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say maybe Jerusalem. Jerusalem? Why do you say Jerusalem? I don't know. I think I learned it one time. <laughs> thought that was an obvious one, but I'm, I'm hoping and I'm still hoping it is. But that one just rings a bell in my head when, I, when it comes straight away. I think Jerusalem, maybe. Either, either, yeah, Jerusalem or... Yeah, Jerusalem. Why do you say Vatican? Because all the, the religion is there. It is the obvious one. Of course, you are right. That indeed is the right answer. Easy question, huh? Oh, come on! It's so hard. Very easy. Okay. Lovely. Okay, thought we put you out there. Straightforward. And it is the right answer. Okay. Fair enough. It's rung the rank bell. Well done. Yes. Which prophet has been mentioned the most by name in the Quran? Is it Adam, Abraham, Moses or Muhammad? Muhammad. I've got no idea. Muhammad. I believe it's Muhammad. Muhammad. Expect everyone to say Muhammad, but it might be Moses. Abraham. I'll go Moses. I I have not I have absolutely no. Well I I, I would have said Muhammad. Muhammad. Uh Muhammad? Um Abraham? I really I have no clue and I can't. Um I would guess and say Muhammad. Maybe Abraham. That's just, just, just a guess. Um, Muhammad. Why do you say Muhammad? Yeah, because this is what the Muslim believe in. That's why I believe, because he's your main uh, prophet. Again, another step in the dark, I think. I'm just guessing. I just don't know. I just say. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel like to believe in Muhammad. Why do you say Abraham? I don't know. That's again. That's that's all these things I know of uh, listening here and there and reading on my own. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's Abraham. I've... Why do you say Muhammad? <laughs> that's come in my mind. Um, he seems to be the most popular prophet um, that that the Muslims mention him the most. So to me, I think it's Muhammad. I don't know. It's most. I have no clue. I just. <laughs> And if I told you that Moses was mentioned more in the Quran than Muhammad, I'll be surprised. Yes, Moses. My surname and is Jesus Moses. Jesus is mentioned more times than Muhammad is as really? well. well but I'm Moses surprised. is mentioned the most. I'm surprised. I believe you. I never read the Quran. I don't know. It is Moses. Okay. It is wrong. It's actually Moses. You are right. Oh, really? Moses more times than Jesus and then Muhammad. Oh, fair enough then. Mm -hmm. mm. Abraham is mentioned a lot, but Moses is the most. See Moses. Oh, okay. I can't believe it. Moses, okay. Mm. Learn something new every day. Mm. 
in Islam. Once a woman is married, her surname must change to her husband's. Is that true or false? True. This is actually, I believe, in all religion. I believe so, yes. False. Um, false? False as well. I'm sorry about Magnus, but I think it's false. Uh, I think that's true. Maybe false? I'm not sure. True. Probably true. Probably not true. True. I, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I think maybe before, but I don't think now. I think it's different. Why do you say false? Uh, another guess. Why do you say it's true? Um, it's just a natural thing, like when a, when a man and a woman marry, the, the woman normally takes the, the, the man's name. I don't know, it, it just makes sense that in, a, in, in an old religion like Islam, probably in those days they had this, um, one of the rules was that the woman has to change the name to the husband's. Uh, because I, I'm not sure. In the place where I grew up, here in Stanford Hill, in the Haredi community, they, they would always change their surname to the surname of the husband. I think it's up to the woman, isn't it? It's actually false. False. She can keep her name. Oh, right. That's right, it's not changed. No, she doesn't have to change her name in oh, Islam. Okay. It is actually, she keeps her name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, she's allowed to actually keep her name. It's not a problem. That's good, because you're right, it's not changed to her. She can keep her name. She can keep her name. But what usually happens? The, a lot of them do change their name, but by law, Islamic law, she's not, she doesn't have yeah, to. That's why she doesn't have to. It's false. She can keep her name. Fair enough, then. It's false. Seriously? She can keep her name. Oh, God, to be kidding me. It's not. It's not, so, okay, so it's not there. False. <laughs> you can keep it as it is. According to Muslims, Allah is the God of who? Is he the God of the Muslims? Is he God of Muslims, Christians and Jews? Or all people and all creation? All people, all creation. All people and all creation. All people. All the people and all creation. All people, all creation, yeah. All people and all creation. All people and all creation. I suppose it's God of all people and all creation. All people, all creation. All people? The, the first. Why do you say that? Because that's what God is. Seems fitting. All, all and everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because God is God, and God is God is a God to all people and all creations. Everyone just has a different name or that they call him. But so I think Allah is what the Islam people call him. So I think all God, all people, all creations. Because he's omniscient, omnipresent, and all of those things. Wow. Again, I'm not 100% sure, sure, but I think that was... Allah is just a term for saying God. Uh, but everyone has everyone has a different name for a different God, but I think everyone's referring to the same person in most cases. Yeah. Fantastic. It's the right answer. Fantastic. That'll do for me. Okay, very good answer. That'll do for me. Well done. Really good. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. It's a good answer. It'll do for us, sir. Allah is actually the God of all people and all creation. All people? Allah is an Arabic word which means the one. Oh, seriously, I didn't know that. In Islam, what is the most important type of jihad or struggle? Is it against oneself? Is it against non-Muslims? Is it against accepting the Sharia law? Or is it against eating halal meat? Against oneself. Oneself. I would say, uh, I'm guessing, against oneself. I think maybe against yourself. I don't know. I <laughs> have no clue. Probably against yourself. I don't think it's the last one, even though they don't believe in that But Not accepting Sharia law? Either the first or second one. No idea. No, I think it's the second one. Not accepting the Muslim law. It's definitely not against eating a lot of meat. All desires. I think it's against oneself, maybe. I don't know. I don't know this guy. Either against oneself or against non-Muslim. Why do you say oneself? I, 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 I believe I, I think it's true. I the right. Muslims' duty to get information, get knowledge. Uh, again, that's uh, that's uh, that, what I've been led to believe. Yeah. See, it wouldn't be the others, would it? <laughs> it seems all-encompassing, and I'm sure there's many areas in which it kind of covers. 
Because we all have elements of ourselves that we try and change and improve. Just as a guess, I'm not too sure about, I know about the meat thing with, um, within the Muslim culture, but as I said, I'm not really that clued up in a way. It's a good answer. It's actually against one's own desires. One's own desire. One's own. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually against oneself. Uh, it makes more sense. So that'll do for me. Well done, fantastic. It is indeed the right answer. It'll do for me. It's yeah. a good answer. It is against oneself. Yeah. It's the right answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you get the right answers, you need to just know why. Good one. Okay. <laughs> it's actually against oneself. Right, so I'm going to let you, I'm going to let that one go. Uh -uh. I mean, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's against oneself. The literal meaning of jihad is struggle or effort. In Islam, the most significant struggle is the struggle of the self, as it's a continuous effect to try better oneself and try and opt for the right option, rather than going with one's desires and not having any control. The internal jihad is the one that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is said to have called the greater jihad. For in the struggle against the self, one has to constantly battle enemies that are hosted inside one's own existence. In Islam, once a woman is married, all the money she earns must be given to who? Is it to her husband, yeah. her mother-in-law, no one she keeps it for herself, or is it to her father? Her husband. Her husband? No one? Keeps it herself? Where does your daughter's money go to? My daughter's got no money, she just has babies all the time. <laughs> Sophia and Yusuf. No one, she keeps it for herself. To her family? No idea. Absolutely no idea. But I would say uh, to her. You know, I would say to her family as well. Should we keep it on herself? I would say she's got to give it to her husband. I'd say, I'd say to herself. Keeps it for herself, don't you? I think go to her father because. I think they pay for her, for her father, is it? For her mother? Her family? <laughs> no. Ooh, I don't know that one as well. But, you know, I'll go for a guess. I think it, she probably, probably gives it to her father. Any reason why you say that? Well, I'm distinguishing between what I think might be written purely in the text and what actually happens, because you're, you're asking about teaching. That's right. The, yeah, I would say that it stays as, as hers. Again, it just makes sense. Uh, from what I know from religion, um, it makes a bit of sense that that's, that would be the answer. That's how it is in the Judaism, so. Because she earned it? Because I don't, like, I'm not too sure about this, but I don't think in, um, is, like, in Islam that it's against a woman for actually to have her own money. And she can keep, and she can keep it actually for herself. It's not against it. It's just obviously, like in all different cultures, people have different ideas, but I don't really think it's not frowned upon. Why do you say that? Um, just, just, just like, just due to respect, you know, or just due to support. That's what I think it could be. I don't know. I see no reason to give it away. So. Yeah. Right answer. Well done. She's actually allowed to keep it herself. It actually, she's allowed to keep the money herself. Oh, right. well, you see, you're better than us in something. See, she's allowed to keep it for herself. The law states that whatever she earns belongs to her. It is a husband's responsibility to look after her. However, it is different according to different families or whatever. She's actually allowed to keep it for herself. Neither. It goes to her. She keeps her money. Oh, cool. She keeps it for herself? Yep. Okay. Learn something new every day. Mary is one of the women promised paradise in Islam. Is that true or false? False. No idea. True. False. False. I'd say true. I'd say true. Yeah, true. It's a guess, but I would say it's true. That's true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I know too much about that, but maybe true. That's just a guess, yeah. Well, you're like hitting me with loads of misconceptions, so I'm going to say true. <laughs> true and false in the middle somewhere. False? Maybe false, but I think it's true. Why do you say true? I just think it's true. Yeah. I think that almost borders brinks on one of the earlier questions, and I feel like that would be the fitting answer. Because she's a mother of Jesus. Um, I don't know. I think the, the lots of um, 
prophets from other religions are regarded holy as well in Islam. Because I think everyone should 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 um, have. Actually, they say it's true, true, true. You think it's true? I think it's true. That'll do for me. Is the right answer? Mary is one of the four women points paradise in Islam. Even the mother of Muhammad isn't. Really? Mary is. It's true. Fantastic. Well done. I know that. And the mother of Muhammad is one of them. It is the right answer. Fantastic. It's the right answer. And it is true. Okay. Lovely. So you've learned something today? I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> it is true. It's actually true. true. She's one of the four women promised paradise in Islam. It is true. Okay, thank you very much. It's true. Well, sadly, that's the end of another exciting street challenge from Stamford Hill. And what did we learn about the residents of Stamford Hill? First of all, they didn't realize a strong connection between the Abrahamic faiths and that Islam was a continuous message of what came before it. Secondly, the position of Mary, mother of Jesus, may Allah be pleased with her in Islam itself. And finally, the rights of women in Islam. So a little bit more work to be done with the interfaith communities. Until next time, please don't forget to Facebook us, drop us a message on Twitter or by email. From myself and everybody else at Street Challenge, Salaamu Alaikum. And let me give you some clues as usual. We're in the North London. No, let me start that again. Didn't realize the strong connection that Abrahamic faiths have. Actually, the issue of... People didn't realize the strong connection and the continuity of Islam and the other Abrahamic faiths. And what did people learn in Stamford Hill? Well, first of all, we found... No, what did people learn? What do we know? Yeah, that is true. We've got something for you. Tip your hand in there. What am I going to get? Let's see. I've got a... Oh, yes. <laughs> you can only take one, though. <laughs> Thank Lovely. You Thank much. you so much. I want one of those. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Something home. <laughs> can I take two? I get two, can't you? You can. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. It's only kosher, thanks. Only, are you, is there anything kosher in there? No. You can buy two. You can buy two. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you've learned something new today. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're Lovely. Welcome. Thank you very much. But I found out certain a couple of new things that I didn't know today, so that's a real good thing. I know there's a lot of mis mis miseducation with Islam, Christianity, and everything, and there's a lot of people fighting, and we don't actually we don't actually have a clear idea of what the other believes in in general. Rap. I'm the hottest in the streets. That's why they got me on repeat, and I'm feeling so fly with these Jordans on my feet. I was walking down the street, then I saw Islam Channel. They said, "Can you do a quick interview?" I was like, "Why not?" Then I done an interview right here on the spot. They asked me a few questions, I answered it. It was all good. Everybody's good. The weather's good. We all good. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. No problem. All right. Is, is, is your daughter become Muslim, you? Yes, yes, yeah. she's been for years. But what do you think of that? I'm very happy with it. I love her husband. Is he Muslim? Yes, yes. Like, that, like myself? Yes, he came from Morocco. Yes, Morocco. Yeah, Moroccans Morocco. are a bit funny, mind you. Oh, he's... She, she's Moroccan over there. Oh, bless her. Don't say that. <laughs> he's lovely. <laughs>